and welcome to the video where I will be giving you my thoughts on the songs for Dora 2024. I haven't listened to any of the songs yet. It is the 6th of January as I am recording this. I know Let Three are back. Well, Let Three are back, but they say they're not back. Presumably they're making some kind of statement about AI or something. Um, or just being Let Three. If you're curious about the t-shirt and want to hear my thoughts about the new Percy Jackson show, you can see that in my video about Etapa Nacional. People seem to be excited about the songs. I saw the one comment per video and they all seem to be pretty excited, apart from a few videos where the comment was like, send this other song please. But it seems the standards should be fairly high and I'm excited to listen to the songs. I'll see you in just a moment once I've listened to the songs for Dora 2024. Okay, I'm back. I've listened to the songs for Dora 2024 and I'm generally pretty impressed. Most of the songs I did enjoy and uh, there weren't any big disappointments so pretty satisfied with it. Maybe not quite as good overall as I expected based on the comments and what people are saying all over social media but still pretty pretty decent. I will be giving you my top 10 I've decided. I don't think that there's anything much I've got to say about the songs in the bottom 14 uh, and I'd rather focus on the songs that I enjoyed. So in the 10th spot I've got Gasoline from Marcella. I have seen that as of right now it is number one on my Eurovision scoreboard which I don't quite understand but it does feel like a very modern pop song and the beat is cool but for me it's pretty generic and the chorus doesn't quite deliver what I'd like it to. Obviously revamps are always a possibility but as it stands right now I've got it in my 10th spot and that's still pretty good still enjoyed it in the ninth spot I've got more from Lana Mandaric did enjoy it I thought it's gonna be more not more so I was surprised to see that that one was in Croatian it's a little bit emo it says the word demoni which for me coming back from two joker art concerts in the last two weeks so, you know had to point that out. It's epic and it's easy to sing along to, the more bit, more more, that um, I think even people who have no idea about Slavic languages will be able to pick up on. And uh, I like the guitar bit in it. I did enjoy it and uh, actually kind of surprised I put it solo, but that's what I felt was right in the moment. Then in the next spot I've got Tishina from Elgin maybe. It's cool. I like the flute bits. That's new. That's interesting. It's got a kind of woodsy aspect to it maybe, like it's from the forest. And it's definitely a little bit epic at times, but for me there's just a few too many oohs to put it any higher. But I did enjoy it. This is testing my pronunciation. <laughs> In the, I don't even know, 10, 9, 8, 7. In the seventh spot I've got Nepo Biediva from Barbara Munyas. It's got attitude and it's a little bit slow but also a little bit rockish. It's got a 90s vibe. A lot of these songs had a 90s vibe. And it's fun. I didn't enjoy all the aspects of it but for me it felt a little disjointed which is why it's not come up any higher. In the sixth spot I've got Baby Baby from Noel. That's not testing my pronunciation. It's dark and it turns into like a lighter rock. I don't think it's anything new and I did slightly check out during the song but that I'm putting down to Running Water Victim because I placed it so high up uh, while listening to snippets again. It doesn't have to be anything new for me to enjoy it. The camera is flashing, so if I do run out of battery before I get to my number one, the angle might change slightly. In the fifth spot, I've got Let Freeze Babaroga. I was expecting more, obviously they were at Eurovision 2023. It starts with something that sounds a little bit like a prayer. And then the instrumental I really, really love. That is epic to me, but it feels like too much autotune for me, even for Let 3, and I don't like the sound, and it's very hard to sing along to. But the instrumental was so good that I couldn't not place it fifth. I imagine there's also some kind of bias because they were at your original 23, but the instrumental I really, really did enjoy. In the fourth spot, I've got Slatka Suze Gorka Lubav from Vatra. It starts intriguing, and then I like the voice, it reminds me of. Campino from Tottenhausen. It's got a kind of country-ish sound which I'm usually not that big of a fan of but it seems to work in this song and it's probably also a little bit nostalgic for me. This is what a lot of older Polish songs sound like. <laughs> in my third spot I've got Pamednam Dosta from E.T. The first song I wrote down was party question mark and it really is a party. It sounds a bit like disco polo so once again probably just a little bit of nostalgia kicking in that puts the song higher up in my rankings than it should be. But it's epic sounding and it's like maybe a bit of a guilty pleasure song 
I, I did really enjoy it. Um, it's really, really fun. I did not look up any of the lyrics, by the way. If I didn't understand something, I didn't understand it. I have a very basic grasp of most of the lyrics because there's sometimes a word or two that I will understand from Polish and my very rudimentary Slovene. And in my first spot, a song which was meant to be a backup song and a lot of people are enjoying and it's kind of what I imagine will show up a few times a year in 2024 after Karia is Rim Tim Tagi Dim from Le Baby Lasagna It starts just immediately It's rock, it's rap, it's techno The lyrics are ridiculous but obviously mentioning a cat does get extra points from me but it's fun and like the music is actually good I really do love it and I hope that's what Croatia chooses In this national final I do actually have a clear favourite that I would like to go A lot of them I'm kind of like ambivalent in my top 3, top 5 For this one I really would like Rim Team Tagi Dim That's my top 10 from Dora2024 Thank you ever so much for watching this video I really do hope that you enjoyed it, that you got something out of it I will see you in the next one whenever that shows up in your feed Bye! In the fourth pot spot.